We've waited for this. <laughs> Look at you, you are banging. That boy needs therapy. Psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. Purely psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. Lying down on the couch. Well, what does that mean? You're a nut. You're crazy, Nicole. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode from Rob from Wild Camper Channel. So today we've come back to uh, the woods where I did a wild camp with Dingle Prep and Bushcraft, Dan. Um, I've come on a different bit of equipment today. Uh, my push bike and a trailer, which I'll show you more of tomorrow in the daylight. I've just chucked a bit of the camo net over it, um, just to give it a little bit of a disguise. It's not much, I know, but you know, it all helps. Uh, I've got my setup here. I've gone for the Van Gogh Banshee 200 today. Last time I was here, those of you that watch my video uh, may recall that it was my first time in a basher. Um, I wouldn't say my last, <laughs> but I don't know if you can see these bugs running around the floor. That is a big mosquito. He's done. And um, yeah, the mozzies were like bloody sparrows last time, so I'm not doing that again uh, for, for any time. Um, so yeah, Van Gogh Banshee 200. I've got a uh, tarp, a little just a quick setup. I came here quite late uh, for various reasons which I won't bore you with, so I've just thrown that together. Dan from Dingle Prep and Bushcraft has excelled himself as usual. Uh, he's gone for the same setup as before uh, with like no sleep kit whatsoever, so which is uh, pretty brave. <laughs> There's the man himself. Yeah, Sorry, brave, blind man. you there. I've invited myself along. Dan was coming out for a solo um, and I've ruined that for him. <clears throat> And I've also managed to tap him for dinner as well, again. So he's gone for, what's the fish called again? T tap tilapia. Tilapia. Yeah. So we've got a couple of fillets of that. We've got some um, rather juicy looking, uh, well, it's been a long day. Chinese ribs, mate. Chinese ribs, Jesus. And um, some other pheasant, I believe it is. Yeah, we've got pheasant. Bleeding into the forest floor. Oh, that one there is what's the that? remainder of the uh, ribs. Oh, dope. Oh. Pheasants in that one. Pheasants. But as usual, there. Dan is, is doing his chef bit, so fair play to him. Um, so that's coming along nicely. Yeah, look, see, cleanliness. Very good. Got to keep an eye on these chefs, you know. <laughs> so we've we've dug. Oh, we see how I've used that. We, Dan has dug down the fire pit. He's done a better job than I did last time. Uh, nice and oh, deep. Mate, I used your fire pit from last yeah. time to uh, help me out. So. Uh, why not? It's a good little setup. Dan's also gone for his uh, tarp over the fire, just in case we get any inclement weather, which is unlikely, but you know, prepared and all that. I've got my little tarp up just so I can. it helps me in the morning to, uh, to tidy away dry in case it starts raining or whatever. See much let's see if I can there we go zoom the old torch out a little bit it's nice and quiet um, the army seem to have packed up the night they're uh, right over in the distance over there there's army ground so we're on the outskirts of that oh something just fallen from the tree and nearly hit me on the head which is nice Brought your shovel along as well, good man. <laughs> These shelters were here last time. Um, we've never used them. Just who knows whether they're safe or not. They look pretty solid. Done a good job, I think. Whoever's done it. Very big. Still. That's getting launched tomorrow. So yeah, there's our little setup. So that's me in the corner. Where's the bike? See, you can't even see it. Ah um, uh, yeah, you can see it over there, the reflectors. Two reflectors that I couldn't get off, but, and the tent reflectors there, giving away my position nicely. Still, it's Dan, and he's set up in the fire pit. Tarp overhead. It's a lovely, lovely warm night, still, quiet. We've got beer on the go, the 
promise of food. What more could you want? We had the fish. It was it was okay. Uh, a little bland, but it was all right. We had the ribs. Very good. Mine fell in the dirt. Extra seasoning, bushcraft seasoning, I think I called it. No problem, it was all nice. And in that fire, in the bottom, we've got the pheasant cooking away. We've got some potatoes, bits and bobs chucked in there. So that's gonna be at least an hour. That's the guess anyway. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good. As usual, Dan has cooked up a sterling treat for us. I try. <laughs> Anyone that's not subscribed to Dan, uh, he's Dingle uh, Dingle Prep and Bushcraft, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's yeah, the channel that's name. And, uh, he's got some interesting stuff there. It could be worth a, a check out. We need to get him up to 100 subs, don't we? Yeah. And then, he, then he's going to do he's going to do a big giveaway. Exciting stuff. Banging. <laughs> oh. Hello. We've waited for this. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the boy done good. By far sat here with their cameras out, just recording the, the, <coughs> the smell. Filming me, filming <laughs> you, or whatever it goes. Oh, look at that. If you could smell that, that smells like... Mm. Do you know what? I'm going to have to cut it open. On camera. Oh, he's got the special knife out as well. No pressure. Oh, look at that. Oh, see so she's there. Uh... Oh, God, that smell, man. Now, do your best not to throw it in the dirt. Dan's done an excellent job tonight of rolling everything into the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of the tin foil. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm gonna have to give it no, a go. You, you, you got chefs. I'm just enjoying the smell. Oh, horrible. Shit. Is it horrible? Yeah, oh, throw mate, it away. You ain't never gonna like that. No, no, I bet I won't. Why would you be a vegetarian, honestly? Look at that. Oh, see? Straight in the dirt again. <laughs> Bushcraft seasoning, mate. Oh, yeah. So where's that? Right. My camera's going away. We're ready to eat. Aye, oh, aye, Captain. The old fire's built up now. We've had our, had our dinner. Very good it was, too. Dan was a lucky one, he got the shot from the, uh, from the pheasant in his bite, so that was good. <sighs> yeah, that's good. The potatoes came out really nice as well. Good. Spot on. Yeah. Mm, full belly. Last beer on the go. <sighs> Watch the fire like that all night. So I, I lie in bed, and you can stoke it every now and then, so I can just sit and doze off. <laughs> I ain't stoking nothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> You've mistaken me for someone who, uh, <laughs> who's going to be doing that. Ain't going to happen. It's all good. Time away. down now. Food and drink done. It's Dan set up. He's doing his traditional tidy up. 
Well, he's unpacking more kit by the looks of it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I want to get the coat. Uh, yeah, it's, it's getting a bit nippy, isn't it? Thank you.